total destruction of the United States chemical weapons stockpile is fast approaching. The two remaining sites, Colorado and Kentucky, are on track to complete agent destruction operations by September 30th, 2023. Honoring a commitment to the Chemical Weapons Convention and a commitment to community stakeholders to use alternative technologies. The Program Executive Office Assembled Chemical Weapons Alternatives, or PEO Aqua, is responsible for safely eliminating the remaining stockpile while protecting the workforce, public, and environment. We're destroying old, outdated, dangerous chemical weapons that makes this community safer to live in and to raise a family in. In Colorado, the Pueblo Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant, or PCAP, is destroying the stockpile at the U.S. Army Pueblo Chemical Depot. The original stockpile consisted of more than 2,600 tons of mustard agent in projectiles and mortar rounds. In the main plant, robotic equipment and skilled technicians are destroying the munitions using neutralization followed by biotreatment. In October 2022, improved cavity access machines were installed to allow for efficient destruction of the last munition campaign, 4.2-inch mortar rounds. Meanwhile, three static detonation chamber units are destroying a portion of the mortar rounds, as well as the difficult-to-process projectiles. The Bechtel Pueblo team is operating PCAP and will close a facility. Since agent destruction operations began in 2015, the Pueblo team has completed two of three munition destruction campaigns. The mortar round campaign is more than halfway complete. By the spring of 2023, more than 95% of the total stockpile in Pueblo has been destroyed. Seeing, you know, just how much we're contributing to actually making the world a safer place makes me pretty happy. Meanwhile, in Kentucky, the Bluegrass Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant, or BGCAP, is destroying the stockpile at the Bluegrass Army Depot. The original stockpile consisted of more than 500 tons of mustard and nerve agents in projectiles and rockets. At BGCAP, trained technicians and automated systems are also using neutralization as a primary destruction technology. In July 2021, the Bluegrass team began using rocket non-destructive examination equipment to examine every rocket for potential problems. Plant operators say this evaluation helps keep the plant running smoothly by identifying rockets that may need special processing before they're disassembled and drained. Meanwhile, two static detonation chamber units supplement the main plant by processing drained rocket warheads and rockets not suitable for processing in the main plant. Bechtel Parsons Bluegrass is operating BGCAP and will close the facility. Since agent destruction operations began in 2019, the Bluegrass team has completed four of five munition destruction campaigns. The final campaign, M55 rockets containing GB nerve agent, is more than halfway complete. As of spring 2023, more than three quarters of the total stockpile in Kentucky has been destroyed. Both PCAP and BGCAP are supported by the Aqua Headquarters team at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, and the Aniston team in Alabama, which also operates a static detonation chamber. Aniston is supporting both sites by destroying non-contaminated explosive energetics and rocket motors. Working together as one team, safety remains the highest priority. That's what's been implemented into every employee out here, safety first. You know, take our time, you know, we want everyone to go home to their family safe. Safety is our primary goal. Completing this noble operation is important to the U.S. to protect these communities that have stored these munitions for decades and to contribute to the global mission of a world free of chemical weapons. We are very, very interested, vested into making our commitments and seeing them through. This project is important because we are destroying chemical weapons that can be never used against humanity. And it should never feel like, oh, I'm gonna be sad that it's over. It should be, okay, we're celebrating now that we are making the world a more safer place than what it was before. And I can say 
that I was a part of that and be proud of it.